Yo, what up? All right. Um, so, uh, happy Halloween. Uh, it is Halloween today. Um, so we are going to check out some more uh, Nukes Top 5. Uh, this is 10 scary videos of ghosts. Um, so, yeah, 10 scary videos of ghosts. Let's get creeped out. Here we go. Factory worker Kama Kaley recently moved from his home country of Greenland to live and work in Denmark. But little did he know that the apartment he moved into had a horribly dark past. Seven years ago, a 49-year-old man was brutally attacked and lost his life right outside the apartment's front door. That happens After Kama moves in, he begins to notice his things moving and falling to the floor for no reason. What? He hears the creepy sound of someone knocking on his door and doors inside the apartment slam shut for no reason. One yeah, afternoon, Kama hears strange sounds coming from somewhere inside his apartment. He pulls out his phone and starts to record as he tries to find the source of the odd noises. But then, this happens. The door slammed shut or something? I'm about to say, why is the toilet blurred? Door slam, I predicted. Uh, Who farted? He farted? Nothing going on. Did it say farts? Already on edge. <laughs> What's going on? What are you looking for? There's probably the door is probably hard to open because of the, the towel. Kama gets a good jump scare as a door slams shut right in front of him. And uh it seems to literally scare a fart right out of him. <laughs> But now, this is where the fun ends and things start to get uh, really damn, dark. <laughs> because another day, not long after sunset, the eerie activity in the apartment starts up once again. Now, Kama is a bit scared, but once again, he takes out his phone to try to record proof of the creepy activity in his apartment. What happens next is truly creepy. Is he, is he, is he still gassy? <laughs> Does he still have gas? Yeah, I was looking at that. It's just cracked. I mean, is it like a... Something wrong with your doors, man. <laughs> you gotta get your doors looked at. Was that a, another door slamming? Or a fart? <laughs> a little something, I heard something. See, that one just popped open too. opens by itself and Kama's helmet slides across the floor. There's Later that stuff night, Kama decides there. to live stream from his apartment. He says that he's having trouble sleeping because he keeps hearing things moving and falling to the floor over in the next room. What I kept happens hearing next, shit. Live on camera is downright chilling. What? It's hard to fall asleep. Oh, Very hard. <sighs> 
Travis Hill. Yes, nigga, I heard that. I, I hear that. I hear all that shit. I'm a nigga. Something oh, fell in the other room. Look, shall I go? Lights on, bro. All this shit in your house. Turn your lights on. <laughs> Don't trip. <laughs> Jeez, this nigga got a lot of stairs. This nigga went down ten flights in like <laughs> five seconds. <laughs> There's someone up there. Is there somebody in this window? Damn! Caught live on stream. I saw somebody move. His belongings fall to the floor in the other room. But when he goes to investigate, the drawers of a small cupboard slide open on their own. Kama has had enough and runs down the stairs and out of the building. But when he looks up at his apartment window, yeah. he is shocked to see someone or something standing inside his apartment, seemingly yeah, I saw that shit. looking right down at him. I so with that. everything that has happened, could Kama's apartment actually be haunted by the restless ghost of the man whose life was taken there? Let me know what you think. Is either that or Just a quick side prank. note, but Greenlandic has only spoken by around 57,000 people in the entire world. So a huge thank you to Nukes Top 5 viewer Wilhelm for translating Nukes Top 5 oh, wow. viewer videos. Nukes Top 5 viewer Natalie Hintz is taking a few iPhone Live photos of her sister-in-law and niece at a scenic lookout in Utah when suddenly she notices something. <laughs> How? Damn. When Natalie <laughs> watches the live photos back, she notices a bicycle riding by at an alarming speed in the background. The biker could have fell off. On its own. There's no rider, and there's no one chasing the runaway bike. Natalie the, says she is creeped the biker out by the strange photos. The headless. <laughs> Viewer the Stephen Figueroa says bike. that he's been experiencing paranormal events since he was three years old. He says that he has even seen full-bodied shadow apparitions in his home. So back in 2013, when Stephen was 18 years old, he says that he was finally able to capture proof of what he's been experiencing. But it's a bit potato because all he had to record back then was his iPod Touch. Potato. Grainy footage of a shadow. Notice that the trash can first tips slightly forward, then moves back, then crashes over onto the floor. A few bags and suitcases fall over as well for no apparent reason. Cut to 2017, and Stephen has now upgraded his video with a new phone. I would hope so. <laughs> uh, still a little grainy. When he Is hears the same a same rattling noise coming from the hallway outside his bedroom, he once again decides to try to record some proof of his paranormal experiences. And this is when things start to that? get really weird. What is all this? What is that? A picture frame Man. on the wall violently moves and raises up, almost as if it's trying to fly right off the wall. Since this video, Stephen says that his grandmother cleansed and staged their home. And for the last six years, he's happy to report he's never had another paranormal experience. Oh no. That was, I mean, this next was creepy like video was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Paulus Hellinger. Oh, Star Wars in his shit. email, Paulus says that his brother was home all alone one night at their farm in Finland. Out the window, he notices that the light in the barn has mysteriously turned on. Paulus says that this strange event has happened many times, but no one in his farm. family can figure out why. Now the farm is in the middle of nowhere, 
and the man is all alone. Hell but no. nevertheless, he gathers his courage and goes out to turn off the light. Nigga, wait till he the morning. to the barn as he searches for any explanation as to why Nigga. the light turned on. Wait till the what morning. What next is downright creepy. Nigga, just wait till the morning. Is it that serious? A light is on. something door is open somebody's probably in there hello who in my barn oh uh uh this is scary what the hell what kind of you not saying nothing turn off the light and go turn off the light and go back what are you looking for you just forgot the light was on. Did you see it? No! A pale, undefined face can be seen staring in through the window of the barn, seemingly watching the man before disappearing into the night. Thankfully, whatever it was seems to have scurried off and the man returned home unharmed. What, what? But what do you think this is? Is it something paranormal? I can't tell. Or perhaps something even more terrifying? A real person stalking around the farm in the middle of nowhere in the dead of night. Real person. <laughs> Hanako san. That's why you had to turn on the, the light. High school in Japan hear crying coming from the restroom during their lunch break. Now in Japan, there is a famous legend of a girl named Tanako-san. This young girl's spirit is said to haunt the restrooms ring. in schools across Japan. The group moves in, all of them a bit hesitant to investigate the source of the creepy sound. Needless to say, it did not go well. I feel a little bit weird though. Go look inside. Why me, bitch? Western toilet style. They got two both styles. Oh, I thought that was. There really is no one in here. Did you hear a voice? Even though there's no one in there. No. The door is open. There's no one in there. The, uh... Oh, shit! The girls are just about to leave until they suddenly hear a loud bang and go back for a look. The horrifying, distorted face of a young girl can be seen inside one of the restroom stalls. The group runs in fear, and the video cuts. Now, unfortunately, there's no source to be found for this video. It appeared on the internet as mysteriously as the Japanese legend. So did the girls capture evidence of Hanako-san? Or is it all just a lot of hoax? You uh, I should have known. Damn, why are you showing the... The six-year seal. <laughs> Either it's a, a girl disturbed says that girl. She lives in a spooky oh, house yeah. that was built in the, the early ghost. 1800s. She says that as long as she can remember, strange, unexplained things have happened around the home, including odd noises and creepy, unexplained footsteps in the middle of the night. Tragically, the, the girl's mother passed away inside the house under mysterious circumstances. Soon after, the girl's granddad became convinced that there was something evil inside the home. For unknown reasons, her granddad sealed his bedroom shut, hid the key, and left the house, never to return. The old man's room remained locked off for the next six years. Then suddenly, one day the key to the room was found just lying in the open on the living room table, with no explanation as to how it got there. One night, the girl and her friends decide to explore the allegedly haunted house, using I'm a spirit here. box in hopes of getting some kind of answer from the other side. And that's when things take a very unexpected turn. If there's anybody with us, can you tell us your name? They're in the house. In the lottery. Oh, y'all heard that. Y'all heard that. Oh, 
the fuck is that? The girl's sister is unaware of what's going on and simply steps out of the shower to go to her room. The group thinks it's a ghost and freaks the Are they in the haunted house? She's taking a shower in the haunted house? Much more sinister turn as the three friends finally decide to unlock and explore her granddad's six-year sealed bedroom. It was just a bedroom? Why did you go in there? Like Leave your granddad running? shit alone. No, I'm in a bad feeling. Your granddad locked that shit up for good. a reason. You can find some shit you don't want to see. Yeah, His so old porn that. collection. I just got so I just got so lightheaded. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I got lightheaded as soon as I walked in here. Have I seen this one before? No. You are not welcome here. Oh, my head's itching. I think there's it lights in here. here. Leave. You are not welcome. Why is Santa Claus locked up? That's what I'm. That's, that thing is creepy. That's what, a Santa, Santa Claus locked up. It could be an object in here. Yeah. Did your grandpa ever think about that? <laughs> like, I ain't it could going be an there. object. You could just burn the whole room. I feel like I've seen this one before. Oh, my, my back's burning. burning. <laughs> yeah, I have seen this one. Oh my god! Stop! No, get out! 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 Snorks up your back! Stop! No, you can't stop! You're giving me anxiety. Oh my god! You're kidding, right? You're no. The girls are shocked as their friend seems to get scratched by something inside the room. It took us like five minutes to unlock that door. Like it yeah. wouldn't open. We went in and immediately I felt lightheaded. Didn't you say and, you yeah, didn't feel good? I, I did not feel good. Yeah, immediately I felt lightheaded and I was like, okay. But, okay, weird. But I was just trying to like play it off, you know, like it's, it's not real. He said that his back was burning and as a joke, I was like, oh, imagine if he had scratch marks. And then he had them. And in the video, you obviously can see there was no one near him. After this terrifying ordeal, the group believes something is very wrong inside that house. They say that they plan on just staying out of that bedroom. But what do you think is going on here? Could there be a dark entity linked to that bedroom? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Lost Soul. In Michoacan, Mexico, a photographer named Paco is waiting in his studio for his friend Eduardo to arrive to work on a project. Paco suddenly hears his friend Eduardo outside his open window, talking loudly to someone on the street. Paco checks his security camera to see what's going on. And, uh, just watch. Talking. <laughs> you talking to a you talking to a ghost. Damn. Or a vampire. Wey, te juro por Dios, wey. Te juro por Dios que el señor me preguntó que dónde era la pinera. Te lo juro por Dios, wey. Un señor se me acercó y me preguntó, oiga, disculpe, ¿dónde es la pinera? Y por eso le explico, le digo que tenía que cruzar y darle más para abajo, wey, te lo juro. Te lo juro, Damn. Man, man. Uh, <laughs> Eduardo swears that a man was asking him for directions, but the security footage shows no one there, just an odd white mist. So Nigga, did Eduardo either a ghost have a or conversation a with a ghost, or a brief mental breakdown? Because <laughs> he seems that. <laughs> convinced. So let me know what you think. Freaky. Alice Attic. Amateur paranormal investigator Phil Koch has been posting strange captures from his supernatural explorations for 15 years on YouTube. What happened? Okay, something just crashed right next to us. In fact, hey, you I crashed. featured Phil's videos on this channel many years ago. Nigga, what did you, did you keep jumping? Something just moved. Something just moved oh, behind me. Yeah. Now, yeah. on this particular night, Phil and his teenage son are performing a paranormal investigation in the attic of an allegedly haunted house in West Allis, Wisconsin. And uh, things get weird. On the floor, I always do. So, 56? 70? Uh, Without them knowing, a voice seems to whisper, Go outside. Seven, eight, 
Seven. Seven. But what happens next shocks them to their core. It's like 12.30. And uh, I think that it was about an hour since we heard those footsteps coming through here, but I don't know what that was from. What's our average number? It's, it's kind it's of about blurred. 37, 38. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting like a point two all the way through the room. Like it's going to 45. Well, what are they measuring? There's 50. Oh, I got a 50. Temperature? I got a reading here. Oh, oh Okay. Ow, ow, ow. I got a reading here. Oh, oh Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Bill and his son have had enough. They just run right out of the attic. But when Phil uploads the video, many viewers claim that they can actually see something sitting in the chair that slides out. What? But what do you think? I don't know if it's a chair. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Isn't One that what y'all was looking for? <laughs> this next video takes place in an allegedly haunted hospital. Now the story goes that the spirit of a little girl yeah. who passed away still wanders the hospital halls unable to move on. Down in the hospital cafeteria, the staff away the working the late night shift experience something that makes their blood run cold. What? <laughs> take a picture. Stop playing, girl. I'm scared. I never get scared. You see a little girl, what? Oh, I thought I saw, saw something. Now, the hospital night staff all know the creepy story of the little ghost that supposedly wanders the hospital. So they watch in terror as the cafeteria gates and automatic door open and close on their own, almost as if someone is walking there. But as the doors close, a small dark figure can be seen walking yeah, by the doors on the other that. side. But whatever it is, that. it somehow just doesn't trigger the automatic doors. So could the story yeah, why didn't the true? doors open then? And is the hospital indeed haunted by the spirit of a little girl? I leave that, that could to be you anything. I mean, to decide. The shadow is somebody. Madison <laughs> Seminary. The door, there's something wrong Two with teams the of paranormal investigators the decide system. to explore the allegedly haunted Madison Seminary in Madison, Ohio. Madison oh, Seminary was cemetery. built in 1847, and over the years, the building has been used as a school, a hospital, a mental asylum and even as housing for the grieving families of men who died in the Civil War. Pain. With a long, dark history like that, <laughs> it's no that surprise building. that many ghosts are said to haunt its abandoned halls. So one spirit in particular is said to be that of a very unfriendly doctor who tries to frighten and physically attack anyone who visits Madison Seminary. Now, the team of paranormal investigators has just started to explore the building when investigator Mandy notices something very odd. You're super red. What? Am I going to die? What? Am I going to die? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's super red. Look at that. Yes. Oh, it's a pain. Oh, what the fuck? It almost looks like, like a thumb. That's thing. weird. Uh -huh. That is, that's weird. It's a weird spot, too. A weird yeah. spot. I don't, I don't even feel anything. A like, red it doesn't spot. feel like anything right now. No, that's weird. He could have had his head leaned up on something. I guess we'll see if it does start to feel like something. Turn around again. Yeah. So it's burning or something? I mean, oh, yeah, it's starting to hurt now. So now that you guys are mentioning it. Know, it's starting to burn. Right. It's weird. Ghost Hunter Steve is shocked to discover that a large red mark has suddenly appeared on the back of his neck. Why would but you? he says he doesn't really feel a thing. So the group continues upstairs where the angry spirit of the doctor is said to sometimes appear. As they record, they capture something that is downright creepy. It's the doctor spirit? Why would it be the doctor spirit? Get out. Yeah, it's like a male voice down there. It was like two or three words. Doctor! Doctor! It, said doctor. it just said doctor. Right after we heard a male voice. Yeah. So the thing well, is, what's picking that like up? Call a doctor because he says he was a surgeon. So people call him a doctor and it makes him angry. So we call him a doctor usually. <laughs> is there a doctor. Doctor, <laughs> doctor Johnson. <laughs>
Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. I definitely heard a voice coming from down there. A group hears a male voice coming from somewhere in the attic. But did you see it? Right after the investigators hear a voice in their obelisk ghost box says the word doctor, a small dark figure can be seen running into the attic hallway. The ghost hunters don't do you know even notice running? the odd figure and only see it once they review their footage later. So did they capture the spirit of the old hospital doctor on camera? I don't trust you shadows. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel. I don't trust the Club shadows. Paranormal. Caught on camera. Late one night, Claire Mills from Manchester, England gets a notification on her ring camera that someone is moving around in her front yard. For obvious reasons, Claire is a bit worried, and she immediately checks the camera footage. What she sees sends chills down her spine. Yeah, doorbell camera. That's another like shadow. A strange type white figure. mist can be seen quickly darting down the driveway before disappearing completely. Claire has no It'll idea what to make of this bizarre figure and wonders if she might have caught a ghost on camera. We need scary videos, so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Secret Shopper. Security guard Garamirez Rivera is working the night shift on New Year's Eve at a Bodega Herrera store in Torreon, Mexico. The security guard is a little bit bored and records a video complaining about having to work all alone on New Year's Eve. Suddenly, something very strange happens. Año nuevo, señores. Happy New Year, ladies. Año nuevo aquí encerrado. Lock you up. I'm here making the rounds. Jale, jale. Sin llorar. Ay, güey. Hijo de su pinche madre. Buzz Lightyear talking. Buzz Lightyear. Ni pedo. Did I say 580? Uy. Hazle la chingada. Que chingas trae ese pinche No manches. No, no se oye con sensor, valiendo madre. Vámonos mejor. Hoy. Vámonos mejor. Before they jump off. After this creepy the occurrence, the security guard is a little freaked out, but just brushes it off. But then another night at 3:20 in the morning, Rivera thinks he keeps seeing someone walking behind him from the corner of his eye, even though he's the only person in the store. A little spooked, he decides to record himself as he walks through the store, hoping to catch a glimpse of any mysterious intruder that might be following him. Damn, what happens next is security truly camera. bizarre. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas madrugadas. No, bueno, más bien, ando que estoy nervioso, asustado. The toys are after me. Siempre traigo mi celular a la mano. Son las 3.20 de la mañana, me tocó aquí guardia nocturna, bodega horrera, si se está todo solo, pero ahorita acabo de ver a alguien allá en la entrada de clientes, se miró allá por la entrada de clientes hasta allá hasta atrás y no hay nadie. Yo voy a asomarme y no, no hay nadie. Así lo voy a dejar a ver si, pues de pura chingadera se vuelve a ver, ¿no? Y lo vi clarito, clarito. Ya lo vi otra vez. A ver si, el, a ver si se alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo ir. You afraid to go? A eso, eso que se mira ahí. Oh shit. Ese, eso negro dark shadow, you see there? Oh shit. Ya se movió. Oh, nigga, why are you laughing? Está caminando, de hecho está caminando. walking in fact. Nigga, turn, no turn around. Y se sigue moviendo. And it keeps moving. Se sigue moviendo. It's still moving. Es una persona, claro está que se It's mire. clearly a person. Mire. Nigga, you're the security no, guard, aren't you? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's get out of here. 
someone or something can be seen lurking behind the creek tap oh security guard. Oh my god. Board. Now, we walking back to a week later and Rivera is back on another night shift when he spots a little girl aimlessly wandering around outside the supermarket. Oh, but before he can approach her, she simply disappears into the night. Given the late hour and the fact that the little girl was all alone, many viewers have speculated that this little girl could have been responsible for the strange occurrences in the store. Some even suggest that she might actually be a ghost. So now a few months go by and things seem to be back to normal at the store. But then Rivera spots a shopping cart doing something a little weird. ¿Qué tal, amigo? Moving on its own. ¿Cómo están? Oigan, estoy en mi hora de comida. Pero no van a creer, amigos. Ahorita escuché que se movió el carrito. No lo vi. Escuché que ese carrito se movió, amigos. That car right there. Se escuchó así clarito como si lo hubieran, si lo hubiera alguien agarrado. Bueno, no sé, a lo mejor son mis nervios. <coughs> Miren, hasta no sé si se fijan, hasta estoy, estoy, estoy temblando. <laughs> Pero sí, clarito, clarito escuché que lo movieron, amigos. Clarito, clarito. <coughs> It's a cart. Si yo. But they didn't get to record it. Pues no alcanza a grabarlo, obviamente. Pero mire, no manches, mira. Chéquense. I'm not worried about yo. that shadow. Son mis nervios, no sé. I'm not worried about the cart. Pero mire. It's no moving. Manches. No manches. No Guess manches. Guess what, nigga? You see it moving. Se movió. You gotta make some decisions. El carro se movió. Yeah, it's time to leave. <laughs> se movió. You should have left before it moved se again. Movió. As the security guard attempts to capture evidence of the shopping cart moving, a soft voice can be heard saying, Jugamos? I heard Which that. basically translates in English to, Want to play? <laughs> que no. Lo movieron, amigos. Oh, you see them? So could it be that the Bodega Herrera store in Torreon is haunted by the spirit of a little girl? Hey, or that just like what actual person. is going on here? I leave it up to you to decide. <sighs> I mean, the shadow looked like an actual person. <laughs> looked like this nigga was walking backwards <laughs> and then walking forwards. Just messing with the nigga. <laughs> You're a security guard. You that's your job. You got somebody in your store. It's probably stealing your shit. <laughs> you think it's a ghost. <laughs> like, we can go back tonight. <laughs> he thinks we're a ghost. We can steal anything we want. <laughs> he think he's gonna leave us alone if we act like we're ghosts. <laughs> we can hit this store up every night. I mean, damn nigga. But yeah. I mean, you know. It's a, it's a lot of, um, the, I don't trust shadows, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and I'm not really like, of course, if I just saw a damn shadow just flash in front of me, you know, I'd be, I'd be very spooked out and terrified. But I mean, you know, to see a shadow on TV, that could easily be faked, manipulated. There's all kind of. You know what I'm saying? Software that people can fake shit. So, I mean, I can't trust the shadow on uh, TV. You know what I'm saying? Like ring cameras, I trust ring cameras. But even I like that other, that ring camera that had that thing, like, uh, like it looked like mist going from the garage to the street. That could have been like a bug or something that was real close. It could be anything. You know what I'm saying? So, like, shadows and mist and all that, I, I, don't, I don't trust that. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust that, um, but yeah, you know, the uh, the barn with the thing looking in. Uh, Nuke said it himself. It's like, is, is is it a ghost or is it an an actual person? You know, that's the more scary thing. Shit, you got a you got a actual person in, on your property going through your shit. <laughs> if it was a ghost, it wouldn't need to turn on the light. <laughs> Ghosts don't need lights. <laughs> 
That's a person looking through your shit and then peeking back at you to see when you leave. Shit. I mean, yeah. People more, I mean, nowadays, people more scared than ghosts. The first dude from Denmark, I mean, you know, doors slam and shut every day. Now, that was creepy. The, like, the, the cabin door was like, it looked like someone was peeking out at him. Like, I mean, that's creepy. <laughs> but then it, like, flung open and his door was slamming shut. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Like that's easily, um, you know, that's, you, you could easily fake that. You could easily fake that. Still creepy, but it could easily be faked. But um, yeah, yeah. All scary videos, though. All freaky videos. Then the jet, especially like the Japanese one. The Japanese, of course. All the all Japanese, you know. Uh, videos or clips or you know ghost videos I've seen have been freaky because <laughs> they know how to do horror well <laughs> I mean shit <laughs> Jesus that seemed like a movie scene they was looking for the girl and she was up in the corner with a distorted face yeah yeah